Hey, thanks for joining us again. Today we're at Auto Sport in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we have a 2014 uh, Ford Mustang GT Premium Convertible with only 25,000 miles. Uh, this is a two owner, clean Carfax car. Whenever we got it in, we had new Pennsylvania state emissions and uh, state inspection done on it. So uh, we like to do these videos. We ship a lot of cars out of state. So uh, that way, whenever you get the car, you know what you're getting. Hopefully it's nicer than it looks like in the pictures in the video. As always, if I miss anything while doing this, which could happen easily, uh, feel free to reach out to me. You can call me, text me, email me, and I'd be glad to get you uh, more information. So we always start in front, work our way around. We'll go through the interior, engine bay, fire it up, go over to the lights and everything, put the top up for you, and um, yeah, let's go over it. So again, uh, 25,000 miles on this car, and just a, a really getting harder to find these cars, actually. Uh, 5.0 GT convertible, six-speed. Uh, this Kona Blue is a great color, and it has a lot of good factory options that we'll go over. So uh, going across the front here, uh, these cars do have a, a known issue. It doesn't matter if they got 5,000 miles or 105,000 miles. Sometimes the hoods start to get a little bit of... Uh, almost like bubbling on it. This hood, I don't know if that's what happened, but it does look like it was refinished at one time. The paint match is perfect though. You probably can't even see in the video, but it, the, the gaps, the lines, everything blends really nicely. Uh, same with the uh, headlights. Both are nice. Sometimes those can get a little haziness to them, uh, faded, none of that going on. Fog lights, grill, everything's nice and sharp. There's no cracked uh, uh, in the honeycomb grill. Bottom, uh, lower volance here again. Doesn't look like it's uh, been up any uh, parking curbs or anything like that. So all good there. Going down the uh, passenger driver's side here. Got a couple little chips. Yep. Yeah, a couple little chips. Some leftover wax too, which is pretty common here. Uh, going down the uh, driver fender. Got a very little stone chip there. Uh, probably not going to see it in the video, but it is there. Driver front wheel, I don't see any curb rash or wear on this wheel at all. Uh, they are Pirelli, probably P0s, yeah, P0s, and uh, they are 18 inch in the front. I don't think these are staggered, but we'll find out whenever we go to the back. Okay, going down the driver's side here. Uh, let's see. I don't see a dent at all uh, on this side. Um, no scuffs or scrapes, anything sticking out at me. Uh, yeah, maybe a little dent right there, actually. Uh, you're not going to see it in the pictures of the video, but again, I'd rather you know it's there than get the car and say, hey, what's this? So we'll go over the interior afterwards, actually. Okay, windshield. We don't see any wear on that. Uh, this uh, lower tray here is a common thing that uh, they can break over time. No issues with this. I'm going to grab the key so I can go over the trunk. Two sets of keys with this uh, car. And then, um, again, rear wheel here. Let's see if they're 18s. Yes, they are. So not staggered wheels. Again, Pirellis. A lot of tread left on these. I like the, uh, what they did with the red calipers with the blue. It really sets it off nicely, especially with that uh, white striping and piping through the leather on the interior when the top's down. Okay, going down the back here. These cars, uh, GTs, all came with. Uh, dual exhaust system. I believe this is all factory. It does have a rear backup camera here. GT uh, designation there. These cars, I believe, also all came with sequential taillights starting in 2011, I think. Okay, trunk area. There's a car cover there that we got with the car. We'll include that for you. Uh, just nice and clean inside these uh, rear corners here. Sometimes the paint can start to fade over age. None of that. Spare tire, everything's still in there. This was a factory uh, option, obviously, especially with the built-in backup camera, but really gives it a sporty look. And you probably didn't, yeah, you probably did notice actually, in the hood, uh, there's also like a grill built within the hood that's pretty cool. It gives it a little retro look uh, to how they used to be back in the day. Okay, passenger side. Let me go up front here and take a look. Um, what? Uh, very little dent right there. Again, nothing to get excited about. 
Uh, no kind of paintwork or anything like that needed. Okay, rear wheel here again, just as nice as the other side. No curb rash, uh, a lot of tread left. These covers uh, probably actually did their job, protected uh, from getting chipped up and stuff back within those panels. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and start the interior here and we'll go from there. So again, GT Premium does have leather, obviously. Leather door panels, which are really nice. A lot of times uh, this leather can start to separate, fall off. None of that going on with this. Uh, both seat bolsters in this car are all clean. There's no major wear showing or any scuffs in the leather. Common issue. Obviously, uh, you can stay here. Uh, Six-speed manual transmission. Factory navigation. Factory backup camera. Factory heated seats. I really don't know what this car doesn't have. Um, because it seems to be pretty well loaded up. In fact, I think the window sticker is available on the Carfax, which you can see on our website. Uh, it also has the My Color Dash. You can change the color of the interior lighting, the gauge uh, lighting, which is kind of a neat option that they did. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. I'm going to put the top up, and then uh, I'm going to show you all the lights and everything, and then uh, we'll go under the engine bay and go from there. So... Okay, if you want to shut that door, please, and maybe stand in the front, and I'll throw the top up. Okay. Fire it up here. It does have a nice sound. I know you can't hear it with the uh, exhaust system, but or with the uh, microphone, but power top. There's one button that you just hold in. Uh, these cars are really reliable as far as convertible top goes. Uh, nice, easy process. Obviously gives it a completely different look up or down. Whenever the top drops down to here, there's two levers in here. Just grab one of each, flip the visors up. There is rear windows as well. I'll put these up. You don't have to, but that way you can see what the top completed. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to go and show you all the lights. Uh, there's the uh, front headlights, fog lights, turn signal, turn signal. If you want to go to the back, I'll show you the back. Uh, again, you're probably going to see it does have sequential tail lights. There they are. Pretty cool. That used to be a, a thing you had to do aftermarket, but luckily they started doing it factory. There's reverse. And um, yeah, again, while he's back, I'm going to go and put this top back down so you can see it from that point of view as well. Again, two sets of keys. It does have the original owner's manuals in there. And uh, I've got to show you the engine bay. It's almost going to finish it, but not quite yet. All right. Uh, again, Coyote 5.0 liter V8. Uh, Six-speed manual transmission. Okay. All right, again, uh, underside of the hood's nice and clean. No uh, kind of corrosion or anything showing like that. Detailed engine bays really nicely with the 5.0 engine cover. All the bolts around here as well as down in, uh, within the engine bay. A lot of times they can start to get some surface, uh, surface rust and all that. Don't see any of that going on here. Uh, battery looks like it was just replaced back in March. And uh, everything's just nice and clean in here. It's, um, this is a turnkey car you're going to get in, start driving day one. And... Um, if you haven't had a Mustang, we've had over 160 of these, if you want to back up a little bit. And uh, we've had 160 of these, uh, 05 to 2014 body style. It's a great generation. Um, they started with the 4.6, moved up to the 5.0. And uh, just getting harder and harder to find with decent miles. Uh, you can find the ones with 70, 80,000 miles, no problem. But to find one as clean as this, in this condition, with these options, it's getting harder and harder. Uh, we do a lot of Corvettes, Mustangs, Miatas, classic cars. Keep a nice mix down here. Again, if there's anything I missed during this presentation, definitely reach out. I'd be glad to go over it in depth with you. And again, we can help with financing. You can get a transporter right to your garage door. Or you can just come in and pick it up and take a look at it and drive it home. So give us a call, 724-388-4930. Again, we're located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and 
It's a 2014 GT Premium 5.0 six-speed, which is 25,000 miles. So hope we can make it happen.